Hello, in this session we will talk about minus set operation. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. In previous session we talked about union and union all set operation and we have to study two more operations, minus and intersect. In this session we will look into the minus operation. I'm connected to the SAP HANA Studio. Let's look at the data we have in the student table. So I can go back to my SQL editor here and I can write a command. Let me remove what I have already. Select star meaning all the columns from student table. Let's run this statement. I'm connected to SAP HANA Studio. Let's right click on tables node and choose SQL editor so that we can write SQL command. So I want to see all the data that I have in course table. So select star meaning all columns from course. Let's run this statement. So these are the courses we have that we are offering through instructor led training program. And if I go back to my SQL tab and let me copy this statement down. Select star from online underscore course. If I run this statement, then you will see all the courses we are offering through the online program. And you must have noticed that SQL is the course that is offered through both the programs online and instructor-led. And in the previous session, you saw how we combined the results of these two tables together to answer the query which was asking you to provide complete list of courses that we are offering either through online program or through instructor-led program. And we used union and union all operators to achieve that objective. Now, let's say somebody asks you to give the list of all the courses that you're offering through the instructor-led program, but exclude those courses that are being offered through online program as well, meaning we only want to see those courses that are just offered through instructor-led program. So if there are courses that are offered through both the programs, online and instructor-led, then we don't want to see that. We only want to see exclusive list of only instructor-led courses. So how would you go about that? So let's go back to the SQL tab. So the first select statement will give me the list of courses that we are offering through instructor-led program, but it's not going to exclude the courses that are also being offered through online program, and that is the part of the uh, the query that we should only provide list of courses that are exclusively offered through instructor-led program. So I have to first reduce my uh, star into the columns that I really want to see, star meaning all the columns, and I only want to see name and description co uh, columns for the courses. And secondly, I need to subtract the result coming from the second select statement from the result coming from the first select statement. So it is like s subtracting set 2 from set 1. And what is set 2? Set 2 is the list of courses, again, name and description that we offer through online program. Okay, So this will give us the desired result. If I run this statement, I should be able to see all the courses that we are offering through instructor-led program, but not the courses that are also offered through the online program. Okay, So if I right-click on the course table and choose Open Content, there should be four courses in here, and SQL course is not being displayed in our result because SQL course is also part of the online courses. So if I right click on online course and choose open content, you can see SQL is here as well. Keep in mind that in minus operation, only those rows are filtered out from set 1 that are also part of set 2. And those records that are part of set 2 and not part of set 1 has no role to play as such. For example, in our select statement, we are 
subtracting set 2 from set 1 and the set 2 is the list of online courses and if I go back to the content of online course table you can see project management course which is being offered online and if, uh, if I go to the content of the instructor led courses you can see project management is not here so that's why it has no bearing on the result if I go back to the result project management has no bearing so if I add few more courses in the online table it's not going to impact any result of this select statement but if I add more courses in the course table then that will have an impact on the result of this SQL again keep in mind from the previous session that order by clause could be used but it has to come at the end because this whole minus operation is one SQL statement select something from some table minus select something from some other table is one select statement is one SQL and order by has to come at the end and we can either use sequence of columns or actually names of the columns from this first select statement so here I want to order by the course name and the description so I can say order by 1 comma 2 if somebody asks you to provide a list of courses that you're offering through online program but exclude the courses that are also part of instructor led program so we want to see list of courses that are exclusively offered online for that we can go back to the SQL tab and all we have to do is switch the select statements around so we can say select name comma description from online courses minus select name comma description from course table so if I run this statement we will see only one course which is exclusively offered online because the other course in online course table is also offered through the instructor led program so that's why it is being subtracted from the result so let's quickly apply this knowledge into some other example so let's say we want to view all the course IDs that are not taken by any student and we are only talking about instructor led courses in this case because student underscore course table is only for instructor led courses we don't have an equivalent table for online courses so how would you do that so if I go into the course tables content you can see here we have an ID column that has course IDs in it and if I go into student underscore course table and right click on it and choose open content you can see we have two columns student ID and course ID meaning which student is taking which course and the course ID column contains the course numbers that are being taken by the student so we can easily do a minus we can say select course IDs from course table minus course IDs from student underscore course table and this will give you all the courses th that are not taken by any student so let me go back to my SQL tab which is buried somewhere here okay here it is and I can write select statements select course ID from course table minus select course ID from student underscore course table I think course ID is called ID in course table and order by here is a perfect example I can either use one or ID because the columns are different I cannot refer to this column in the se uh, second select statement so if I run this SQL I should see the courses in this case only one course that is not taken by any student so right click on student underscore course table choose open content and you can see course 4 is not taken by any student we can do few more examples so let's say if somebody asks you to provide list of all those students that are not taking any courses so if I right click on a student and choose open content you can see a student ID is stored in ID column and in student underscore course table we already know it's stored in student ID column so 
I can say select ID from student minus select student underscore ID from student underscore course table order by ID so this will give me all the student IDs that are not taking any courses four and five students are not taking any courses and I should be able to verify that by right clicking on student underscore course and by choosing open content so student four and five are not taking any courses and we can do one more example if I go back to the SQL editor and let's go to the SQL tab I want to see all those teams that have no student in them so if you look at the structure in the student table if I right click and choose open content you can see we have a team ID column storing all the team IDs so we have an ID column in team table as well if I right click on team and choose open content you can see we have an ID column so obviously if any ID is not referred to in the student table then that means that team has no student in it okay so if I go back to the SQL editor I can write select ID from team table minus select team underscore ID from student table order by one and this will give me the list of all the team IDs in which there is no student okay so if I run this so team 3 is the one that has no student in it and this is a student table you can see team 3 is not referred here anywhere